Hey there, Spectre Freak here. This is my homemade high voltage power supply. I designed this for powering my homemade cathode ray tubes as well as my homemade x-ray machine. It consists of two fluorescent light ballasts which both drive a flyback transformer. I salvaged this flyback from a CRT TV and as you can see it's quite large. All of the pins on the bottom are potted in RTV silicone to prevent arcing to the transformer itself. The primary coil of the transformer is driven directly by the fluorescent light ballasts. All the other circuitry you hear, see here is control circuitry. Let's take a look at a wiring diagram. Here's our wiring diagram. I'm going to ignore all of the indicator circuitry for now, just for the sake of simplicity. Live and neutral come in and they power this 5 volt switch mode power supply. This supplies power to my 5 volt relays. You may have noticed on the front of the supply there were two switches, one to select the voltage level and the other to turn the power on and off. The selector switch switches both the two relays on the left as well as the double pole double throw relay on the right. This allows me to completely remove the inactive fluorescent light ballast from the circuit as I'm both disconnecting its inputs and disconnecting its outputs. I disconnected the outputs of the inactive fluorescent light ballast because I was worried about what would happen if one ballast were piping high voltage into the other. I just didn't want to deal with any potential repercussions from that. Once the desired voltage setting has been selected and the relays have switched, the power switch can then be flipped. This supplies power through the relays to the selected ballast, which then simply drives the primary coil of the flyback transformer, giving us some nice high voltage. I said I wasn't going to touch on the indicator circuitry, but I figured I might as well. Um, so the neon light just tells us when the power switch is on. And the circuit down here is a simple uh, binary inverter circuit that allows us to switch between a red LED and a blue LED depending on the power state selection. When the two lamp ballast drives the flyback transformer, we end up with some fairly tame but relatively high voltage arcs. Let's see them. You can see that the striking distance is less than a centimeter, so these are probably putting out about somewhere in the 10,000 volt range. I've attempted to measure it, but it's pretty difficult, as some of you may know, to measure high voltages such as these with a digital multimeter. When I use the four lamp ballast to drive the flyback transformer, we get some much more impressive arcs. Let's switch it over to the four lamp ballast and power it on. The striking distance is closer to an inch for this configuration, so the voltage is somewhere in the 40,000 volt range. Using fluorescent light ballasts for this purpose leads to some pretty interesting effects. Notice the initial arc that's struck when we first get within striking distance. See that screaming blue arc? Now, let's strike it again. This time, we don't see that arc. The different arc behaviors are because of how these electronic ballasts operate. They have two modes, ignition and running. The lamp must first be ignited using a higher voltage, whereas during running mode, the ballast goes down to a lower voltage and lower current. 
This is why we see those initial blue screaming arcs. And then after striking it, we only end up with that hot orange arc. The striking distance also decreases after the first strike. Now you know how my high voltage power supply works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.